Comparing and ordering integers notes. We're going to start out with comparing integers. Let's, let's look at this problem. Lake City is a small town in the mountains of Colorado. The average low temperature of Lake City in January is negative 4 degrees Fahrenheit, and the average low temperature for March is 14 degrees Fahrenheit. How can we compare these temperatures? Well, if you look to the left, there's a little thermometer, and we can see that there are two temperatures on the thermometer already, and those are for April, April and February. Let's go ahead and number or label the little lines on the thermometer so that we know exactly where the temperatures are on here. So label your thermometer the way that I've labeled mine. I have negative 5 at the very bottom and positive 35 all the way at the top. So the first question says, which months have a greater average temperature than February? Well, I guess the first thing that I really should do here is go ahead and put January and March on the thermometer somewhere so I can compare them to April and February. Let's go ahead and do that. January is negative 4 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's going to be down here. And I'll put J for January. Okay. And then we have March, which is 14 degrees Fahrenheit. That's going to be right about there. I'll put M for March. So if we look now, which months have a greater average temperature than February? That would be anything above February. So anything up this way is greater than February. And that would be March and April. Using the same thermometer, we can answer the next question, which is, which months have a lower average temperature than February? And that would be anything below February on the thermometer. And the only month that's below February on the thermometer is January. So it says, complete the inequality to compare the temperatures of January and February. Here it says 2 is greater than, and we just need to put the temperature for January. January was negative 4, so negative 4 will go in that box. To compare integers, you can compare the absolute value or the size of the numbers. Greater numbers are graphed farther to the right. So we could compare the signs of two integers. Let's go ahead and number this number line. We'll put zero in the center, and we'll have three tick marks to either side. Okay, so let's look at negative 2 and positive 1. Okay, now if we're just comparing the signs, I know that positive numbers are always greater than negative numbers. So this means that positive 1 is greater than negative 2. Another way that we can compare integers is to compare the position on the number line. Let's take a look at negative 2 and negative 3. Well, we talked about how greater numbers are graphed farther to the right. Negative 2 is farther to the right, so that means negative 2 is greater than negative 3. All right, so these last three problems you need to do on your own, and we will check them together in class. Now let's talk about ordering integers. You can use a number line to order a set of integers. Integers can be ordered from least to greatest or from greatest to least, so you need to read the questions very carefully when you are ordering integers. This one says order the set negative 8, positive 5, negative 2, and 0 from least to greatest. The first method we're going to use is the number line. And we need to go ahead and label this number line, so let's do that with 0 in the center, and then we'll count by twos. Alrighty. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to locate the numbers on the number line and we're going to graph them. So we have negative 8, that's here, 5, now I don't see a 5 on my number line but I do know it's positive so it's to the right of 0, and 5 is in between 4 and 6 so that's where 5 is going to be. Negative 2 is here, and then 0 is right there. So if we're going from least to greatest, then we're going to go left to right. And let me show you something that I do. This is kind of like a little trick that I use to help me remember what side is what on the number line. So it's a little messy, but you get the idea. On the left side, that is the least, and on the right side, that is the greatest. So that's how I remember what is what on my number line. If we're looking from left to right, then we're going from least to greatest. And the order from left to right is negative 8, negative 2, 0, and 5. Another method we can use is to compare the signs and values of the integers. So what we would do is we would compare the negative numbers and then compare the positive numbers. We're still using the same set of numbers that we used in the previous example. But now we're just going to order them using a different method. So if we're comparing the, no the numbers, the negative numbers are negative 8 and negative 2. Okay, well we need to determine which one is greater. Negative 2 was farther to the right, so that means it is greater. So that means negative 8 is less. Negative 8 is less than negative 2. Then we have the integer that is neither positive nor negative. And the only integer that fits that description is 0. And then we have a positive integer, which is 5. So if we were going to order them from least to greatest using this method, we would still get the same answer, negative 8, negative 2, 0, and 5. We just tried a different method.